okay? Uh, so we'll be looking at this uh, stuff as of right now. The first one, number one, the dispensation of innocence, okay? Right here, this of course would be the Edenic Covenant. Uh, and it was a, uh, uh, nobody knows how long this time was. Um, they, they, you know, we're going to give guesstimates on how long each period uh, was, but in this one they don't know. Uh, it could have been a thousand years, it could have been 30 years, no one knows. Out of all the dispensations that we're going to cover, okay, out of all the dispensations we're going to cover, this is the best one. The earth is in a sinless state. Sin has not entered. Okay? Even as good as the millennial reign is going to be, there's still going to be sin. That's right. Yeah. Okay? Even Christ's reign in the millennium is not perfect. There's going to be an uprising. So out of all the dispensations, of course, this one is going to be it was the best. Uh, there was one rule. Don't eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Right. He said, don't eat of that tree. But you could eat of the tree of life. Well, guess what he did? Guess what Adam did? He didn't eat of the tree of life, but he did eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Yeah. It's like one of those things. You put a big, big red button in front of somebody, and you say, whatever you do, don't, don't touch the big red button. What do you want to do? You want to touch that button because you want to know what's going to happen. All right? Don't touch your red tank. Don't write. What do you want to do? Touch the want to write your name or something. Everybody remember Cement when you were a kid? Yeah. Right? Come on. You're writing, you're, you're writing your name in there, you know, your favorite rock group, guy comes along, hey, what are you doing? Right? You know. But um, <laughs> there's no no faith here. No faith. He walked with God. Adam walked with God in the garden. No right, faith right, involved. Right, right. It's not like yours. Okay? It's, uh, um, it was, uh, like, like I said, it was works. 100% works. Don't do this. And, of course, he did it. Okay? It ends. Every one of the dispensations... Ends with man ruining it, okay, except one. It'll be the it'll be the millennium. All right, even even this one, the churches end up going into apostasy right. here because what happens is when, when the church finally goes up, it's at that point that the church has no effect on the world anymore. Mm -hmm. That's right. We we have uh, the church. We have no more effect on society. And God says, okay, that's it. We'll, the church is up or out. Okay. Effect, right? and the, we'll talk about that when we hit maybe in Second Timothy and so forth. Okay, um, all right, so it ends with rebellion, of course, Adam, sin, mm -hmm. all right? Now the next dispensation, dispensation of conscience, okay? Now, just so you realize that there's still no law yet, the law is here. Yep. So, every man has a, guess what? Conscience. A conscience, take your Bibles to Romans chapter 2, Okay. Now they know about sacrifices at this particular point because Adam lived to be at least 930 years old. And I'm sure, you know, Cain and Abel, uh, they knew about the sacrifices and they were told those things. But it's still based on conscience. Uh, even up to now, <clears throat> even here, even when we get to here, all right, the Mosaic Law, Jews have the Mosaic Law, not the Gentiles. The, G the Gentiles still are here. Up until up until Calvary, because they're not Jewish, they don't have to keep the law, but they do have a conscience. Look at Romans chapter two. Uh, so at least you want to read the verse I need, please. Yes. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, these having not the law are law unto themselves, which shew the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness in their thoughts. The meanwhile, ex accusing and excusing one another. Okay, so they have the law. They have. Uh, 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 the, their conscience, and uh, that's what God judged a man by uh, up over here. So it's a little different. It's a little different at this point. Adam realizes. Look at Genesis chapter three, verse ten. He realizes something about himself. Now he realizes. He realizes uh, shame, guilt. Um, he never knew that before. He's naked. Fear. These are experiences that he never had up until up until the fall. Uh, I mean, everybody has shame. Well, not in America. Um, but uh, you remember the first time you did something wrong? Maybe you uh, uh, stole your first piece of candy or your, your first little cigarette. You hid yourself, right? So because you didn't want mom and dad to see, uh, you know, shame. And uh, so this, this is where all this stuff came in. Genesis chapter three. Like we're gonna go around the room here, verse ten. 
Uh, who wants to read it? Give me a hand up. Or be, please read loud for the sake of the video. Uh, Arthur. And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. When did that happen? Now he's just starting to experience some things here, okay? And we're going to talk about this as, as we move on. Now the attribute of God here is being revealed is his patience, his long-suffering, okay? This dispensation roughly lasted anywhere between 1,500 to 1,700 years. Those are guesstimates, okay? Those are guesstimates, all right? Taking what we can with the Bible and, and certain times, uh, men have guessed at this. Um, at this point, men are still living eight, nine hundred years uh, up until the flood. Okay, then there has to be a change there because of uh, of what goes on. All right. Now the plan of the plan of salvation is conscience. You do what God put in your heart. They knew that adultery was wrong. They knew that murder was wrong, and that God instilled that in their hearts. Um, and of course, this is going to end with the flood. That's when this dispensation ends, with the flood of Noah. Now, this is where we're going to park for a few minutes, okay, uh, with, with the study. <coughs> That's where I need to get here. I want to talk to you about this dispensation. Um, and there's something that happened. Take your Bibles, we'll look at Genesis chapter 6. Okay, we're going to read some verses. Like I said, you're not going to get all this tonight. Genesis chapter 6, we're going to read verse 1. Genesis chapter 6, verse 1. It says, It came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God, and that's basically what we're going to look at today, who are these sons of God? Excuse me, so that the daughters of men that were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for he is also flesh, and yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. Wow. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that. So they weren't wiped out in the flood. Not all of them. Mm -hmm. Because guess, that we, guess who ends up fighting David? Goliath. 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 So not everybody was wiped out in the flood. Okay. Yeah, four brothers. Well, yep. And when, the sons, and when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and bare children to them, that the same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil continually. And repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing. And the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. Wow. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. <laughs> okay, now, the argument is, and it's, it's a it's a very one that's been going on for a long time. Now, the argument is this. Who are the sons of God? And if it is, why is it important or isn't it important? Now, the basic argument is, well, the sons of God here are just the godly line of Seth. Anybody ever heard that? Okay? All right, that's one argument. Okay. Uh, the other argument is that they are not the godly line of Seth. They are angels. They are angels that came down and procreated.